My liver is processing the nashies today. Why do I continuously eat like a cow? Because uh, I'm a cow. I'm against your American idea of what freedom is. Every person needs to be criticized. Okay? No one's perfect. I'm American stereotype. I don't like those things about myself. I don't like the gluttonous, overindulgent side of myself. I don't. I lost weight. What do you think? Uh, good for Dee Dee. Yay. I hate Dee Dee. You guys like my dinner? Hi, everybody! Moscato bees? Not today. My liver is processing the nashies today. You're right, I need to slow down, Rhonda. Just one more bite. This is the best pot pie I've had in a long time. Mm. I had, so I had a little bit. I brought the chicken meal home, and I had a little bit. I had a chicken wing and a bit of rice, and that's it. You like his boyfriend dungeon streams? No, I'm glad you like them. I did not. I didn't vote because I'm an asshole. But Pete's did. Voted uh, NDP. My boobs are distracting. I would get tote wood because I'm the size of a truck. Did you have to think terribly hard for that one? It doesn't seem like it. Begin soon. How come I can't? Oh, he's making mashy. Mm. He's making mashy. I think it's called mashy. It's stuffed vegetables. It's really good. I'm salivating watching him. And I have an attraction to Arabic men. I don't know why. White males are the worst. I don't think, I don't notice much of a, I find white men, the white men I've dated, I can't say all white men, but there are obviously like cultural differences. Between the men I've dated. I think I'm still getting skinny and I keep eating. Why do I continuously eat like a cow? Because uh, I'm a cow. I think my whiteness gives me power over these men. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't have power. Dave, welcome to Very Important Users Ready Set Peace. I think I'm attracted to things that are different than what I am or what I'm used to. So people from other cultures attract me more, I guess. Why glitzy glam? The matter is attractive. Right, Gail? He is an attractive person. Oh my God, Wine Jello. Your Haitian husband for six, 34 years. Have you only ever been together? I'm curious about this. I'm not judging. I'm just wondering. 34 years with the same person only? But if you can be with other people and go through things together in 34 years and still be together at the end, that's impressive. I'm not vegan. Are you communist? Are you against the convoy and freedom? <laughs> yes, I'm against the convoy. And if by freedom you mean endangering the lives of many innocent people, then yes. Then I'm against that. I'm against your American idea of what freedom is. <laughs> I love my... I love. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not anti-American. I'm anti... There's some things I'm anti, yeah. There's some things I don't agree with. <coughs> You're free to criticize Canada all you want. I won't get defensive about it. I promise you. This country, every country, every person needs to be criticized. Okay? No one's perfect. Matter's good looking in his own way. He just needs to treat his girl right. <laughs> well. He does, like. I've come on here and said nothing but mean stuff. So if you came on here and said nothing but sh bad shit about your uh, the guy you're with, you'd be like, 
Oh, what did the... Oh my god, only with Jeff. Wow. Oh, sorry, guys. That's crazy. Well, good for you guys. I'm American stereotype. I don't like those things about myself. I don't like the gluttonous, overindulgent side of myself. I don't. And that's why I raged against myself, too, in Cuba. I raged against other people, but I raged against myself as well. <laughs> we need guns to protect ourselves. No, you... D yeah, okay, you can have a handgun. You don't need a fucking uh, assault weapon. You need a machine gun to protect yourself against somebody unarmed? How about everyone's unarmed and let nature take its course? That's the Darwin way. If I assault you with a banana, is it an assault banana? You're not going to kill me with a banana. It would be very hard. Change the talk pick. Okay, fine. I can't say what I want to get. I have, I have to. Do I have to love gun laws? Okay, guaranteed if I was like pro-guns, all you anti-gun people would be up my ass. <laughs> all right, fine. Can we say hi in Natter's chat and hang out with them? I wanted to hang out, but I wanted to come live and eat too. What is he making? Swantel said he makes money off YouTube. Yeah, he does. He makes money off YouTube. <clears throat> Not what I make, but he makes... Um, he's now making a decent amount that he can afford to fucking uh, treat me for dinner. Right, Natter? Right. <clears throat> so I'm coming up tomorrow. <laughs> Again. Was with my indigenous hubby for over 30 years. Separated for three. Was together since I was 14. Wow. No, that's awesome. No, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, every single one of you right now has a different life situation, okay? Some of you have no money for food. Some of you are eating beans. Some of you are eating steak. Everyone has a different situation. So we should all just be thankful, like, for life and that we're just here and if we can all help each other out. That's why, like, with PayPal, every time I get paid, People who send me like requests, like five bucks here and there. Like, I don't mind like helping people. Like I said, it's like, if I have, I like to share, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, like food, whatever. Like if you were starving, you came to my door and wanted food, I would give you food, you know? Being in a loving, faithful relationship is a beautiful thing. I know. I was with one with, with BB, but I wasn't faithful, was I? What does that say about me? I'm not capable of it. Wow. He's not either. You know what? I finally fucking get it. I finally fucking get it, Pete, when you said that. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love anyone else? And that never made any sense to me. I always thought, what? I love everyone more than I love myself, so of course I can love. No, they don't mean that. You no, what they mean is that if you don't know how to love yourself, you cannot. You do not know how. If you do not love yourself, you cannot know how to love anyone else. We both didn't know how to. Because we both have problems in our own self that we just can't keep taking out on each other. Like, you have to, like, be okay in your own situation before you can ever... Do you know that being a loyal, responsible, wholesome partner is a whole thing? It's, like, a big deal. And it's not just something that you can just do. You can't just be like, yeah, I'm a loving, faithful partner. And you have to be it. If you value yourself, you don't accept bullshit. Exact. If you... Don't value yourself. You accept to be treated like shit. Exactly. Wayne Gunsky Rose Bees. <laughs> no, Wayne Gunsky. We're having. Okay. Let's get some Moscato. What's tomorrow? I'm not doing anything tomorrow. How much money do I have left? Peace will go get it for me. I'm getting Moscato. Three big bottles of it. Let's have a bees night tonight. And I'll get some rum. No, I'm having Moscato. So I guess I won't have this. No, I have a little piece after. It helps me sleep. I lost weight. What do you think? I want to get something to memori memorialize my grams. For a tattoo. And my cats. Give us a date. An exact date. Okay. For one, I'm going to take my health seriously. Alright, what's the date today? <laughs> Actually, I would like to give you an exact date. Okay, give me like another month. You eat 50 fucking nashis and 30 twisty pisties a day. <laughs> Whatever, you're exaggerating. And no wonder you think I'm unhealthy. Maybe I just want to live my life like this. Is that a problem for you? Do you think I have, like, you guys are so upset that you say I'm wasting my life. So actually, this means that I have some hidden potential, right? Are you worried that Pete is turning into a penis woman? 
Oh, I have an announcement. Pete might be getting his own place. I'm, I might be put. He might be. Uh, I might be putting him up in a. <laughs> because I need my privacy. I need my own space. I need to. We need to move on separately. I think. But I'm not gonna be leaving him in the cold. Um, we're trying to get him a, um, like room in like a house like a nice place like right downtown i think would be really good for him yeah pete's i think it would be really good for him the guy who never leaves his room he never leaves his room he's a hermit anyway it doesn't matter where he is um really colleen no i'm not moving anybody in i'm gonna be looking for my own place too i'm not sure um what i'm gonna be doing but i'm not planning on staying at the villa for long term so um No. Uh... <clears throat> no, I'm not. I'm, for, for real, I think. I'm not moving to Montreal. No. no. Pete's is going to be happier, I think. He's right now. He'll have. He'll be more likely to have a life on his own. Like, he, you know, he'll probably do more YouTube, I guess. He can take the time. He'll be right downtown. Like, the place, like, I want to find him a place right downtown. So like something of his own where he can have his own like private, you know, just a nice big room, fully furnished with a bathroom, maybe a shared kitchen. He has his own like fridge and microwave in the room, you know. Um, maybe it will be good for him to be with other people, you know. <clears throat> Does it bother you that Natter's liking really bad? No. Look what you guys call him, fucking cracky and everything. And I just fucking, whatever. I don't care. His fans hate me. They should all become my beezers. <laughs> yeah, that's right, S Jam. You guys don't. I, we are not going to expect you to like each other, like after everything, right? Especially right away. But real life is not like that. In real life, people, you don't know the full full story. Just mostly a lot of bad. So it just so happens in real life we've mended things, and that's it. So that's why we're in each other's lives. <laughs> So, I'm taking care of my cats. Everyone hates me, I know. Kristen, I'm not dropping Pete. I'm not dropping anybody. Before, whenever he lived on his own, um... Doesn't leave his bedroom or go to work. It's going to be awkward. No, that's why it won't be. He lived in. He rented a room before. Um. You guys are freaking out for nothing. I'm not moving in with anybody. I just. I like. Just want to be alone. <laughs> Pete definitely needs to be on his own. He's a big boy. Exactly. I don't want anyone attached to me. I just and and. What we did was. Before, um, he'll be with people just like him, yeah. And he'll be right downtown. He can go out and like go walk for walks by himself, like. Mm -mm. <laughs> Shut up, Layla. Well, Lolo, he can probably just come stay here, or wherever I am. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not going to leave the cats alone. So they would be, you know. This has nothing to do with Natter, like, right now. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, number one, like, I kind of just want my own space. Like, for real. I think it's about time. I just really never lived on my own. I've been saying that for a long time. Um, Kimikaze, nobody thinks you're funny. Goodbye. Um, so, 
He never leaves his room, I know. But... You're so sick of me. So, yeah. I don't want to live with anybody. No, I'm not leaving my cats. My cats are going to be with me. I can't even get my door to hatch. Well, it's time for us both to grow up, fuck. Right? I can get my door dash. We need wine. Not the boo, just different living situation. So yes, this place is in his name, but I've always paid the rent. Like, all of it. <laughs> like, he cannot afford to pay any rent. So I will be getting him a place and helping him out. Mental health is only getting worse. Exactly. I don't think living with me is good for him. In the middle of Orleans, he ha he cannot drive. He's stuck here. He's better off to move somewhere with other people where he can expose himself. He's nervous, but he has to expose himself. You have to do it. I was scared to go to Cuba, and I fucking did it with no food, pills, drugs, nothing in another country. I'm sure he can handle living downtown. Right? <clears throat> yeah he doesn't he can't he wants to move to toronto for a job but maybe he can do that someday but right now i mean it's not feasible so i'm a terrible friend why because i don't want to uh live with somebody for the rest of my life <laughs> that's stupid and you know what i'm beyond caring if people think i'm a bad person for doing what i want to do in my life so this is part of getting matter back no but even if it was, Kristen, obviously, yes, Matter and Pete's cannot live together. And I pay all the rent here. And it's more reasonable for Pete's to go first. And I know that sounds mean, but I think it's time. We've been talking about it. That Pete's foster care. That Pete's go live by himself. So. <laughs> Tell Pete's and then drive off. I would never. Justice for Pete's. I would never leave Pete stranded. That's subletting? Yeah. No, L5. That's not the end of our... Our friendship has survived everything. L5, our friendship has, like, survived everything. <laughs> uh, don't talk about Pete's leaving. Well, I'm going to be leaving too, SJM, so they can kick me out if they want. I'm going to be leaving eventually. Give me a break. Bring it on. I think I'm scared. I can have whoever I want over. <laughs> she knows how to mindfuck peeps. How do I mindfuck peeps, Curly? What? I'm funding his existence. He helped me out a lot too, no bueno. He gave me a lot of money in the past. So I'm helping him out, yes. So you have to take over the lease? I've always paid the rent. He hasn't paid a fucking dime. No, in the beginning, yeah, a little bit. But I always pay the rent. So. I guess we have to give a notice. And he'll be moving out and then I'll move out. Yeah. I would have to transfer the, the lease in my name. I don't know. I'm not going to bother. Hi, pretty and gamo. Okay, maybe just bring one and put the rest in the freezer for me. Thanks. Just one of the small white ones. I can get my own shit at the door, but I won't. <laughs> I'm kidding. <clears throat> what happens when Natter never commits to you and you thrown out your own? How come you don't listen to me when I talk? I said I want to be by myself. Okay. I don't know. Because I don't see that it's a big deal. Like, I'm not love you no matter what you do. This is side you throw. Okay, Estrella, I'm not throwing out a friend. This is what you guys are getting wrong, a hundred percent. How am I throwing out a friend? What do you mean throwing out? Am I saying get out of here, Pete's? Go. Yeah, of course, no bueno. Because people, you don't feel good mentally if you're not providing for yourself or doing things for yourself. He probably knows that. 
right? So, of course, like, your mental health is worse, but, you know. Yeah. Hey, Pete. People are worried about you. I'm I've fine. told them you might be moving out. But we're both moving out. I'll be fine, hopefully, maybe. Better I'll, better I'll die in a week. I'll go meet, uh, meet for a second. People think I'm trying to get rid of you to move Natter in here. Interestingly, she was uh, she was played in the original series. Uh, Nurse Shepard was played by uh, Magel Barrett, uh, Jean Ronberry's wife. Yeah. So she's like one of the most. I mean, Magel Barrett is like one of the most important women in Star Trek history. Arguably second only to Lucille Ball. <laughs> and uh, so, can can you listen? They think I'm choosing Natter over you. Can you tell them that point is irrelevant? Haha, <laughs> bye bye, Pete. Your mooching days are over. No, they're not. He's still mooching. <laughs> I am allowed. I have not even begun to mooch. <laughs> he can mooch as long as he wants. Pete has earned unlimited mooching rights as long as I'm alive, right, Pete? Yeah. It's not mooching. He should be. Which should be what another? Which should be one another three months? <laughs> as long as you're alive, and that should be another. Three oh months. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. At least three years. Should get pay off the debt by then. So, yes, I, I, uh, you know, we have, no, okay, listen, this is, <laughs> this, anyway, I'm out. Pete! What? Tell people you're okay. Look at my cat! <laughs> Take my cat with you. No. Look at her, work. look at her, she loves you. I know. Is there Despite any... my best efforts. Do you mind just filling up the crunchies again, please, because I just. Oh, yeah, I just gave them some this morning, but they want some more, I guess. Since I'm over here and you're not. Go fun Pete. Four of these right on. Why so I don't look like an asshole, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> we'll miss you, Pete. He's not going anywhere right now. Jeez. And we're going to see each other all the time. Like, if he when he moves out, he's going to be, like, close by, and I'm going to see him. So remember we had... We did dinner dates at least once a week. I took you for groceries yeah. and we did dinner and that was our thing. Yeah. He doesn't see me much here when I'm here anyway. I just kind of, just kind of want, you know, he, you even said you figured that, right? That I would want some kind of life yeah. on my own with some men eventually or something. Eh? Yeah. And you don't have to stress. I will be there a hundred percent with you. Dawn, this is not for Nada. This is for me. Don't you guys see that? I want... Look, you can't live alone while you're battling addiction. Shock, to be honest. Guys, we can't live together for... I don't want to live together forever and ever and ever. I don't think. He needs a lion cut. I got a lot of the mats out. Look at him, how smooth he looks. Yes. You see? Do you think he still needs to go? Probably, eh? Yeah, you guys are going to kill me. Very good. I cut out. Is Pete moving? We don't know yet what's happening. And this has nothing to do with Nader. I haven't even talked to him about this at all. He doesn't know. What's the fake worm? Hi, Zan. Okay, here's the deal. Want the whole truth. <laughs> it was in the back of my mind that he would be able to come over. But so sad to see Pete's go. But that's what I don't want it to be a sad thing. I don't want it to be a thing that happens if he's not okay with it. Rest in peace. I want it to be like I was thinking more along the lines of him getting his own. It would be so much easier for him to go first and get like his own place because he would just be living in like a room somewhere. But you know, because no bueno, Pete's is a grown man. He's not normal. He's got issues, like I do. Like he, you know, I don't want him. I want him to be okay. But I think you're right in the way that I think that like exposure therapy for him will be better. Because he did live on his own before. I know he can do it. I would never put him through something I didn't think he could handle. Like, that's where you guys are wrong, and that's what pisses me off. Yeah. I just don't know. Like, I'm not throwing away my friend. My friend will be close by and cared for, still by me. And I will see him at least once a week. I mean, I don't really hang out with him much here. Anyway, I'm always gone or always somewhere else or hanging out with other people. And push her down the stairs. Yeah, I read Vicky's comment. 
I really, really, if Nader, even if Nader, okay, let's just pretend Nader doesn't exist for a minute, okay? Like, Nader is an extra thing. So let's pretend Nader's not here. Like, if I really, really wanted to be with, live with Nader, I would be getting an apartment with him in Montreal, no problem right now. Like, no problem. I would probably, die. you know, like, whatever. We would be together. We would be living together. I'm not. I'm here. <laughs> and I don't want, I don't want to live in Montreal. And it's not that I just, I, I just want to live... I don't want to live. I know we, we couldn't live together. I want to just, well, I don't know. I want to live by myself and just like, you know, have my own space. You guys think I'm just going to have a bunch of men over all the time? What if I just want my own space? It is time to get him off the teat, kick him out. <laughs> not kicking him out. This is not like that. Thank you for the super chat. So you want to be like V2 with your own condo. Well, yeah, I kind of want my own space. What's wrong with that, Mark? Why is that a problem? I would be paying his bills. Pizza's bills. It would be like 700 everything included. So big deal. Tallulah, I'm not picking anyone over the other. Tell Pizza to make his an Amazon wish list. Yes, I'm helping him paying for his new room. He's working, but he doesn't make that that much. So just till he can find something. Yeah, everyone wants a place of their own, Tata. Exactly, very good. We would kill each other. We're not going to live. <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, my God. No, I mean, maybe, I don't know. There's two bedrooms, but I'm moving out. Like, He needs to grow his YouTube, right, S Jam? I think I would miss living with Pete, though. No, I edited his video. You should see it. It's really good. I did a good job. So. Nader. Faith, are you booing Nader? Let's boo Nader. Oh my god, you lost a ton of weight. Kudos. Really? Thank you. So what do you think I should do? Do you think I should just continue to live here with Pete's and let Nader do his own thing? Yes, right? Because he doesn't do anything for me, really. <laughs> I know, but Pete's is still a better supportive person. I don't think I can live without Pete's now. I think we're stuck together. I came to an important realization in my life. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can live without you. Okay. That didn't take long. Yeah, we have to be living together forever. Or were you looking forward to living up? Did you realize that? You, uh, did you realize that you had to do the litter box yourself? <laughs> yeah, and then like a bunch of other stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, who's going to go get your take out every... Who's going to pick up your paneer if I move out? Yeah, and you're just, like, always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never yell at me, ever. And, like, uh... You're just, you know... You feel like home! <laughs> Alyssa, I can't believe how much weight you lost, right? Are you okay? Really? I've been eating like a fucking pig. Maybe I, something's wrong, I don't know. Okay, so let's just like we're like. Yeah, so I'm not. So that means if I ever get in a relationship, I guess. Is that from Ren and Stimpy? It's Mahal. Oh, you're sanctimonious. It wasn't. Annoying. It wasn't her who made who made me shit my pants. It was the food I ordered. I do. I have not shit my pants. I did my pants since I was like a teen, since I was like a kid. I was probably like. Shut the fuck up. Like, I, I'm guessing I probably haven't shit my pants since I was probably, like, six or eight years old. Why are 1,600 people watching us? Oh, it's 16, almost 1,700 people just heard me talk about uh, I was probably six years old when I last shit my pants. 1700, yeah, 1,700 people hearing me talk about shitting Thanks my pants. Seats. They're here to see me kick you out, but it's not going to happen. So this is about matter and y'all living to... No, it's not. 
I will always live with kids. It was about living alone, mostly. For real. I was supposed to maybe get a place for, with him in Montreal and back out because I kindly declined. I just, you know, he's cool with living with like roommates sometimes, but I thought it would be more affordable for me because I wanted to spend some time with him repairing our relationship and doing some blogs and stuff like that. And it's a lot cheaper to have like a studio than renting apartment than renting these fucking gross hotels all the time guys like you know like we would split on a place that's what the arrangement was going to be like roommates like for real like i would just go there like for a couple days out of the week like maybe on weekends and like we would i would film for him and then i would go back when i'm at home i would edit it would be like that and it would be like no strings like he can do what he wants i can see a motorcycle guy or i can see people anybody i want and that would help because i would have you know other people you know like it would be some kind of a some kind of um functioning thing why am i delusional that you don't think that will work <laughs> no i'm curious why i'm, I'm open to your opinions because this is like something these are decisions in life that i really want to make the right one about you know why not or i guess just because i like spending time with him you don't want to see other people well that's the thing i would i would be seeing other people but Right now, yeah, I'm not interested in it. It's not something I'm... Just because, I don't know. He he can do what he wants. I mean... I'm, like, really, like, into him sexually. But I don't... Can't be in a committed relationship with him. I realize that, like, 100%. Even though it kills me a little bit, I'm, I'm okay with it now. I broke down about it. I accepted it. It can't be. Because it just... It, it can't. It's like this. No, he can't be in a committed relationship with exactly. He can't be either. We both can't. When does he ever <laughs> kiki? <laughs> so if you walked in on him going to Pound Town, oh, in your business studio. <laughs> oh God, you're right. This whole thing is so fucked. Why do I still hang on? I can't. I don't know i like miss him after a while i really i don't want to be in a committed relationship like because that's not who he is i sense the life in him he's so full of it like when you're around him like you guys really would have to pretty much as jim like he's yes he's very like sexual has a wandering eye of course i know that about him that's why i can't be with someone like that he denies it he denies it whatever i, I can't fucking do it but but He's fun to be around sometimes, like really fun. If it was just about money for him, he could easily be with Dee Dee, right? She's she's better with her money. And he's already there. It's convenient. What should I think about that? That thumbnail. Do you think it's baiting? Huh? Because we had a talk. You're not too smart, Nader, because now I have to tell them why I would be upset by that thumbnail. Because we recently, we had a talk. I'll tell you what I said exactly. Okay, so I said, um, listen, because he put, he's like, we have an appointment? Because I was bailing on him on the apartment appointment. So I said, listen, this will be hard and I'm so sorry. Just give me time, please, to think. I don't know if I can move to Montreal with you, I'm too stressed and financially too. And then he wrote, really? And I wrote, I'm just being honest. I'm so sorry. I wasn't honest about my feelings. I still want to be friends and help you, but I'm so stressed. Last answer, question mark. Last answer is I can only handle being friends. I'm so sorry. When I can help you, I will. And do your videos today. I will do them today, I promise. Soon. And then he wrote, thank you. And thanks for being honest and a thumbs up. And then he wrote, I need to find a girlfriend too. <laughs> so. I, don't, I won't show any other DMs because that's private. But just to tell you, like, that's the conversation we had. So we had this arrangement that I broke and I feel bad for a piece of shit for. But that's why I feel like, so I feel like you're like, like, are you trying to piss me off with that thumbnail on purpose? 
Why would you do that? Or is that your girlfriend now? Are you going to like be honest? Or maybe they're going to be honest now that I'm like, go ahead, be honest about it. Clean cheeseburger! Because they still don't admit that they slept together. He still tells me, he still swears that they haven't. Read between the lines. If it's important to Natter that you two spend time together, he could get his own place in Montreal and you can visit him there. I thought he was making money now. Well, it'd be easier for us to just like Hello, Stacy. To, to split somewhere so that I could spend a couple of days. I wouldn't be spending every day of the week there. I'd be having this place, keeping the villa, spending four days here, three days there. And splitting on the studio, a pretty big, or at least a three and a half for like 800 bucks a month. It's like 400 bucks each. That's, that's like so much cheaper than hotels. You know, somewhere he can work and I can work out of too. You know what I mean? I just thought it would be a good move, but like, and I wouldn't, we wouldn't have to be in each other's hair. I can always come back here. Cause like, yes, like we can't stand each other for more than like two days. And then I got to go home and then out. Why? I'm being honest. Okay. The lie detective determined that was a lie. I know. Christy Surfish, I just, that thumbnail makes me feel like, why am I going to go out of my way to help you when you've done nothing but give me trauma in my life? Right? Right, Sofa? <laughs> if, if I was living with him, would I go live as often? No, probably not, because I'd be helping him with a lot of stuff. And uh... Right. Oh, my God. I can't handle this. <laughs> Look at her bald head. <laughs> so, good mind. I do hate Dee Dee, though. I did apologize to her, but now I hate her again. And I hate Natter now, too. I should message him. I'm, I'm drunk. I'm going to be mad at him. What is with your thumbnail? What is with your thumbnail? Barf face. Are you trying to make me hate you even more? I'm torn. I'm mostly torn if I want to be with him or not. If Dee Dee's in the thumbnail, I'm in one of his thumbnails. Do you think our videos are awkward together? No, I don't want to be polyamorous. I seriously hate, like, I, I really don't, okay, like, I feel mad, like, I feel fucking bipolar with him, too, because, like, my sentiments towards him, and it's not fair towards him, because he, he's just a simple man, you know? <laughs> he is. I hate to be stereotyped that, but... So I try to understand and not fault him for that. I just try to have a relationship that would function with him and not take it too serious. And I have boundaries, but I... For some reason, he's like the only man right now that I have actual feelings for, like romantic feelings for. He's so not the right person to have feelings like that for, especially after everything we've been through. And I just can't, like, <sighs> ask me a question. Okay, but they have to be, like, super chats. <laughs> Can they be, like, small super chats? Like, I can't see them if you don't. Can you highlight them or something? Put your questions in caps. How about that? He's ruined your life. When was the last time you got his dick? In that hotel room. Obviously, every time I see him. Oh, fuck. Obviously. Like, every con. No, that's not how big his wiener is. Stinky. As big as the eggplant, though. Maybe as long. Or his dick might be longer. I don't know. If you could wish monkeypox on Dee, would you know? Is it true Dee Dee's a swinger? I think so. Has he ever told you he loves you? How much money did you give him this month? Has he ever told you he loves you? Yes. Did you make Dee? Are you dick struck? Yes. Did you pay him for sex? No. We joked about it. Does he do coke? No. Not that I know. Not with me ever. I will not let him. I will kick his fucking ass. I told him, I said, if you do it, I will kick your fucking ass because I care about him. I don't want him to fucking fuck his life up. Dee Dee did not get fired. 
Did you give him a red scent? <laughs> yeah, I gave him a red scent. Has DD gone through menopause? I'm going through, I think. I don't know. Uh, does it make me come? <laughs> yeah. He can. For sure. If Nader and Didi aren't sleeping together, why did she get upset when he left to spend time with you? Oh, um, I can't say. But they have an excuse. I don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> Let me order here. You know, maybe I should give a motorcycle ride a chance. Of course he has to look handsome in his stupid thumbnail, too. The whole fucking... <sighs> Have you seen his brothers? They're so fucking hot. There's something about him, his look. I don't know. It's like, unique. what? What? <laughs> no, no. I was looking at. I was messaging one of my friends, but then I seen his thumbnail. I'm like, oh. You want to see his brothers? <laughs> They're so good looking. I'm not fat phobic. Like they're very hot, right, guys? You can't say no. I just heard from a great friend you're rehoming Pete's. Is that true? No. I'm never rehoming Pete's, especially not for him. So I don't ever think that. That's what pisses me off. I'll never re I'll never go out of my way for him ever again. Thank you, Summer Bees. That's scammy. I bet him and Didi are getting wild off that tequila. Absolutely. I don't care. I'm not mad at him. I don't give a shit what they do. How can I care? Or is it my business? I literally just texted him that we're just friends. He literally can do whatever the fuck he wants. I'm, you know what? I have no fucking right. I have no right to message him that. None. Good. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Unsend. Unsend. Hope you have a good night. Smiley face. No, I'm not with him. I'm by myself. I'm gonna work on myself. No one but myself. And Pete's. So he said that if you lived with him, you'd be more than. I have all of, all the messages. If he tries to deny it, he's a liar. But it doesn't matter. He wants to be private about it. But... Honestly, I was just getting really stressed out about going to Montreal. And I just like snapped a bit and now I'm like back here regrouping. I can't keep up with, with it right now. So <clears throat> Yes, he says because Didi respects him and doesn't talk shit about him online. And I do, so <laughs> But he acts like I talk shit about him, it's like all stuff that's true. <laughs> like uh, good for Didi, yay. I hate Didi. You'll be Montreal beating again tomorrow. I'm I'm actually tired of Montreal. I need Montreal break. <laughs> I don't give a shit if they fuck number one fan. I'm gonna be fucking whoever I want. Like I made it I broke I've said like we agree like we're not no, we're nothing together. We're not together. Why are they okay, what is it? Thir is it Thursday? Okay. I was like, why do people go out on a Thursday? Oh, that's good if they want to go out, whatever. You can have your man back. He's just a friend. We would honestly, we don't work together. We would kill each other. We're just friends. And I just don't want to be committed with anyone, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna string along motorcycle. <laughs> I mean I'm attracted to him. He is cute and everything and very, very nice, but I don't want a relationship period, so. I just want to be work on myself. So that's what we're going to do for real. And the first step is committing to that by just staying put and not gallivanting to Montreal all the time and just putting that effort back into myself. Uh, right, guys? Yeah. There you go. Oh, I know. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> what is bull? You guys don't believe anything I say.
think I'm not kissing anyone, Queen of Kittens. I'll clean up my desk tomorrow. This is fudge. Chocolate fudge. Oh my god, gross. Look at this pizza. <laughs> Ew. Let's look at these hot dogs. Ew. Ew. Wait. Okay. Should I taste test it? Or should I just complain right away? I took a peck. Okay, let me try a bite of this one. Let's try the pizza. Yeah. Both tastes pretty good. <laughs> That's right. I just want to eat and be silent. All right. I want to live in freedom. I want to dance with my demons. I want to drink for no reason. And celebrate every season Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom Cause I got what you need Don't forget to subscribe And if you like what you see Please buy my merch Link in the description below